From the lads of Modern for Advantage, we are heading out to Warlord Day. Woo! Let's go! I'm here in the Warlord studio with Paul Sawyer, a man who needs no introductions, head of design, head of studio, the man who makes all the choices about what we're going to get and when we're going to get it, right? Yes, it's all my fault. It's yeah. it's all your fault. Yeah. We're in front of the beautiful cabinet here. Of the, this, these are So these are all the kind of original display miniatures for the re various releases? Yeah, so this is our new, new release cabinet. So stuff that hasn't come out yet. Um, it might not come out for a week, month, or even longer. So we work yeah, to really long lead times for some of our projects. So whilst this isn't all the stuff that we've got coming out, there's a lot more to come. This is all the stuff that's been painted. Um, <laughs> right. Or in the case of the uh, uh, some of the plastics here, just in the raw form. And there's, there's a team of women and men that work in this room, painting all the time. Yeah. Yeah. About half the time. Yeah. About half of them working at any one time. Yeah. All right. Um, so the bit that's really, you know, my eye has been drawn to on here is we can see the new armoured cars, the 222 over here, the Humber that are in plastic coming out yeah, for yeah, Gentleman's War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I've, I've got to say, and I spoke to John, I'm so excited for that box set, I think, and I think when we talked before, the Africa Corps, then the Eighth Army, not only are they new sculpts, they're heavily influenced by that airfix stuff on yeah, them, they're really nice rule. models. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Some of the poses on there are definitely... The, the potato masher, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, all of that stuff, really, really nice models to build. None of this two separate arms and trying to glue a weapon in the middle somewhere either. Um, and these, so this armoured car is in plastic. It's it's kind of a gap a gap in the bolt action range right? in in plastic. Yeah, I mean the two 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 uh, resin vehicles stood in good set for for many many years. Yeah. Um, and it's a natural one for us to to add in because you know bolt action all the way. We all love our vehicles. Our tanks, of course we do. It's an infantry game. Yeah, but cheap vehicles are the great. Small light armored cars. Yes. It fits in perfectly. So yeah, with it being the desert, it made absolute sense to have the plastic mm. armored cars. One for each side. Mm. You can't get them anywhere else. Yeah, in the box set for now. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know. I'm. I'm getting two. I need. A, I need a late wall one. And I need an early wall one. But also in here, I see there's more for the two five zero Alta coming out. I see there's a mortar carrier in there, and there's a radio ver command version as well. So there's there's still some stuff. Yeah. So the, the first um, um, Alta package that we put out had uh, options from the base two fifty slash one kit. Mm -hmm. to have uh, the um, turret version, the 250-9 yep. recce vehicle. Um, and Got one of those. the 250-10 with the Pack 36, the command, yes. the tune commander version. Yes. But with the additional command frames, um, we can do two more sets. So the next one that's coming up, uh, well, they, no, no introduction really, it's the 250-3, it's the bedstead aerial, it's the Marvel's yep. classic, the Grife. Yeah, yeah, um, and you've already got that on the decal sheet. I seem to remember. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, I we thought it was Rommel's marking. Yeah. I saw, I saw the grief on there, and I thought, I think that means it's Rommel's car. Yeah. So that with that, with that kit, you'll be able to make the the command version mm -hmm. uh, that has Rommel in it as well. Are you this a Rommel miniature oh, yeah. in plastic? Yeah, yeah. In there at the moment, you probably can't see it for the shield, but the, there's a Rommel on the front. sweet. Uh, and you can also make the um, the version that removes the. The front machine gun uh, shield and puts the ban Panzer books of squeeze bore. That's that right. funny tungsten penetrating light anti tank weapon. And then the, the, what we've re uh, shown off for the first time today is the third of the 250s. So we've got the 250, um, which allows you to make it into a mortar carrier, and a 250 that has. Um, a rotating twin machine gun version for uh, anti-aircraft. Didn't actually see so much service. Probably only made a prototype or two. But collectors like to know that but stuff's out there, right? It's nice. It gives you a, all the options you need for a 250 Alta. Mm. We were going to do the Stommel, but that doesn't work the Alta only with the Noi. Right. Uh, and, and the difference between those is about the sides. 
and the, yeah, the they're much. kind of beveled insides, aren't they? Yeah, on the, the, old, the, old, the old version, the Alta um, was a typical German fashion, over-engineered. <laughs> yeah, they made uh, a simpler uh, one later. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when they had, were started to run out of some of the uh, bits and pieces. But this is the one to do because they're still in service in late war. They're oh, just yeah, being yeah. phased Absolutely. out, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Now I'm also seeing in here. Then I believe this is your new your new Sherman Easy Eight. It is. Uh, with oh yes, look at that suspension. I bet somebody yeah. enjoyed making that. Yeah, not me. So um, this is the Fury tank. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do the accessories look like on that sprue, Paul? Um, Any logs? Uh, I, I can see some logs. I can see some it. logs. Oh, look at that commander. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So commander we're not saying there's any kind of proprietary nature to this, but there are some interesting accessories it's on that. Coincidence. Coincidental <laughs> accessories. And um, uh, I mean, a bit, big fans of what actually, you've also today. I've seen the Mongolian sort of Kangol Gol era. Cavalry and and are these in warlord resin? Um, the, no, they'll be in metal. They'll be in metal. Yeah, the, it's so, ma majority of the stuff is in metal still. Right. We are putting out more and more stuff with warlord resin, but it, it's on a case by case basis. Mm -hmm. it depends. It's a volume thing. It's not so much the volume; it's more about what's appropriate. Things that we we might struggle in with metal, or that were very heavy in metal. Right. Ideal for warlord resin. Right. So there isn't a a one size fits all approach to what we what we do and don't do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and other other standout things in here. Obviously, uh, that's a new American Civil War epic there. Yeah, so you see at the back there. There's a new sprue. There's a new sprue. So where we had um, zouaves, we had cavalry, dismounted cavalry, skirmishes, and all of those were in metal. Yeah, we've decided that it's time to put them. Time in to make that sprue. So one sprue does all of that, mm. which will only really leave the Iron Brigade. In metal, and we're going to change that to wall of resin. And you're going to change that to wall of resin, yeah. I've, I've got to say, what I've been really liking about uh, about these epic sprues is is you can see that the the kind of thinking that's gone into each sprue has got better in terms of variation. So that you look at that American Civil War sprue; it's a lot of the same thing on the sprue. Then the the early Napoleonics, and then by the time you get to that Prussian Landwehr sprue, like let's put all the other things on this sprue. It, it, They're much more have mixed. To plan all this out. I mean, the, yeah. the, the Napoleonic range in particular, because, yeah, you know, multiple different uniforms. <laughs> yes. Getting that right, and then it's uh, the ratios as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got to look at the orders of battle. How much of these do people need? Yeah, the, the, it, it was very, very involved. Mm. But um, I've been right in believing that there's still a lot more to look forward to from Warlord Epic. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is this is over the next three to five years. We're going to see other periods brought in. Already working on one. And, range, and, and ranges. <laughs> and now you're not going to say <laughs> any more. The other big sort of striking thing I'm seeing in here is just because you said they were new, these were new things, I'm seeing some Romans and stuff down here. What's new about these? So these are um, sculpts that we did for SPQR. Ah, right. So these are the Warlord resin ones as opposed to the on sprue ones. Yes. This is your third type of Romans. Uh, well, this is Imperial Romans done again. We have, have them in plastic, um, but for SPQR, where it's more skirmish based, the, the poses that need to be different to a rank and file. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so that's where we've gone with that. Oh, it's so much more dynamic. Yeah. Because they're not going to be ranked up. And obviously, there's a mountain of new ships coming for victory at sea. I can yeah, see there. Yeah, down there for, for all, all <laughs> nations. Yeah, and, and these are. Not just the new classes, but other ships within the same class. Both. That kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of a stuff lot there. A lot of uh, merchant stuff here. Troop ships, ammunition ships, liners. Yeah. A load of aircraft carriers, more more aircraft behind them. A load more aircraft for blood red skies, which will all be in Warlord resin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a black powder, stacks of Napoleonic, some Crimean artillery, um, some 28mm ACW. I'm not tall enough for this top row. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so so much good stuff to come. Just making sure I'm not missing it. Even a couple of Tardises in the back there. Really nice Those stuff. New stuff for Judge Dredd. So Judge Dredd isn't finished. No, no. As a, as a range. No, no. We, we put the game out. Yeah. Um, and the initial factions that are in the rule book. Mm -hmm. But we've already been introducing new stuff like the Clags. Like the yeah, I'd seen I'd seen the Clags. Um, but we've got a new expansion coming. Um, early next year, which mm -hmm. we'll be announcing in the next month or two. Right, but this will um, be new gangs? It'll be new units for existing gangs, but it'll also be some new stuff. Because that's the thing with the, if you want to play Clegs, you've only got a few pop models to work with, right? So maybe a little bit more space for people that like that. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of new characters, um, some yeah, real classics. 
Yeah. Um, we all know Deathfish, Stanley, Sabat, loads of cool stuff. All of that, all of that stuff, right. Beautiful stuff to look forward to. Paul, thanks for your time. No worries at all. Take care. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Thank you.